Hello everyone! Voltage drop is a very important factor when choosing wires and cables, so I usually do calculations. However, I decided to conduct a real test on voltage drop. On the test bench I've placed a 1 meter long 3 by 1.5 mm squared cable. I will apply different current values and measure the voltage drop over this length. Now I'm connecting the probes to the output terminals. For accuracy I'll use a precise multimeter set to the 6 volts mode. First I'll measure the voltage drop at an initial temperature of around 25 degrees Celsius. Then I will wait for the cable to heat up at each current level and repeat the measurement. To compare the obtained results I will also show the calculated values using formulas and an online calculator. Let's go! In the table three values of voltage drop are shown, measured values, voltage drop calculated using formulas and values calculated using an online calculator. The measured values almost match the ones I calculated using formulas. 
However, the values obtained from the online calculator are lower. And I realized that each value has some margin of error. So, required adjustments. And the first measure the voltage drop not at the terminals, but on the wires, at the points where they exit the terminals. Second, in my formula-based calculations, I assumed a cable length of 1 meter. But the actual length is around 0.985 meters, because each wire loses 10 millimeters in the terminal and 5 millimeters in the sleeve. And third, the calculator performs calculation for a cross section of 1.5 millimeters squared, but the actual cross section is 1.43 millimeters squared. The relationship is linear. So, the values can be corrected using the formula. Now I repeat the test and compare the values. Well, now all the values almost match. I'm really satisfied. What do you think about the test results? And how do you calculate voltage drop? Thanks for watching. See you soon.